In every loan agreement we enter, we view it as the beginning of a two-year collaborative journey. Our commitment to clear communication starts with sending mortgage statements to our borrowers around the 23rd of each month by email. If we haven't received your payment by the 5th of the following month, we'll send a friendly reminder. A final notice is issued on the 9th, highlighting that additional penalties could be applied if payment isn't received by the 10th. We understand that sometimes life happens, and we're open to waiving these penalties for occasional delays, just as long as we receive a timely call from you and the payment is made promptly. In most cases, we find that payments are made by the 5th, with others catching up by the 9th. However, our approach needs to change if a payment is missed and we don't hear from the borrower. Communication is critical in these situations. If we can't get in touch by the 11th, we begin the collection process. This includes issuing a notice of default, a notice to accelerate the loan, and a notice of demand for rent. At this point, you'll have 14 days from the notice to address these defaults. If these issues aren't resolved within this time frame, the case is escalated to our legal team, who will start foreclosure proceedings. It's important for borrowers to be aware of the cost implications at this stage. Late charges will be applied and interest will accrue at a higher default rate until the defaults are resolved or foreclosure is completed. Furthermore, all expenses related to the collection process will be the responsibility of the borrower. As these are recourse loans, any shortfall from the sale of the property could result in further collection efforts against you. We emphasize that open communication is the best way to avoid these consequences. We're not mind readers. We rely on your feedback to understand the challenges you might be facing. Our lending isn't just a business transaction, it's personal, as we're using our own funds. Our primary goal is to support your investment strategies, not to pursue payments. A cooperative approach is always more effective than avoidance. In our industry, it's essential to keep assets performing. To maintain positive business relationships and ensure you receive ongoing support when needed, it's crucial to adhere to the agreed terms. This has been Nathaniel with Fulford Lending. Thank you for watching.